get too slow. Hey, my name is Andy. Just want to hit something real quick with you. Beware of social media imposters. Now, you've all seen it before, and, and more often it happens with emails or anything like that, trying to do some phishing. But let's talk about it real quick. I want to show you a message that I got um, and go over it. Hold on just a sec. Here we go. So this is from a this is a message from my friend Melvin, and it didn't sound like him. He and I have a great relationship, and I know how he talks. Now most people talk, then most people type the way they talk. So how are you doing? That's not him. What's up? That might be him. Hey man, how are you? Am cool. Please, can you do me a favor? That's not him. I say, what's that? I want to get into my Facebook, my new phone, blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking, this isn't Melvin. Let's throw a test. So I threw a test. Yes, I can help you, but I want to make sure this is really Melvin. What did we pray for at the men's breakfast that happened to me? And then, of course, he wants to, the person wants to say, it's really me, blah, blah, blah. It's me, of course. Why do you say that? <laughs> and then I come back. If it's you, please answer my question. And needless to say, that was the end of the, end of the conversation. He hasn't come back to me. Now, what I'm going to do is contact my friend Melvin, not via Facebook, and let him know what's happened. And also, I saw that there were actually two Facebook accounts for Melvin. So we're going to go through it. I'm going to help him out. We're going to go through it together to make sure which account is his and then let Facebook know that the other account is an imposter. Now, he wasn't hacked. That's not the way that a hack is. A hack is where somebody breaks into your account, assumes the control of the account, and you can't get, get back in. This was a spoof. The difference is a spoof is somebody who creates an account identical to yours or one of your friends and then tries to refriend all of your people, and then they can use that to do other things, try to get money. That's most of it's money motivated. Um, so know the difference between a hack and a spoof. Of course, you can always change your password. Very important to do that quite often. And also, if you're not using multi-factor authentication, you want to do that as well. And the way that works is you've seen it before is you create a password whatever you log out you log back in and it's either going to send you a text message so that you have to answer the text or an email or use a third party app to do it as you can my you can hear my public wants me it's probably a spam call yep <laughs> so we're just going to ignore that uh, i'm going to get back to work i just wanted to let you know beware of imposters i'll talk to you later bye bye